Brussels, Anderlecht, St. Nicholas, Alst, Leuven, Lee, Viviers, Namur, Charleroi, Bolivia, Mons, Antwerp, Hazelt, Genk, Bruges, Ostend, Rosalar, Coltridge, Muscaron, Torino, and Mechlin. 22 towns and cities completed in more or less a month. And um, what an amazing journey it's been. It's opened my eyes. It's made me wake up, it's made me realise what's important and what matters. Not just in this past month, just in Belgium, but in this entire eight month trip into Europe. It's not the biggest tour in the world. It's only the UK, Switzerland and Belgium. It's not exactly far. It's only like an hour and a half tops on a plane distance. But even that, just that little trip teaches a person so much about life in general. I know it has done for me, it's, I mean, both the journey and for personal matters as well, it's, it's really made me think about what's important in life and what matters. And I feel like not only just on the past eight months, but over the course of the last four years of doing this with Google, it's expanded my mindset to no end. It's helped me see what the world for what it is. And it's made me see how people interact with life in general. And the one thing I have seen on a daily basis in the towns and the cities is the same kind of people kind of losing the will to live life. Not just, you know, the will to live. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about living life to its fullest, making new experiences and finding your own opinions, not from what, you know, your phone says, not from what Facebook says or the newspapers or YouTube or wherever your medium comes from. It's important more than anything for you to experience life for what it is with your own eyes and your own ears and not taking other people's opinions to heart. I think in the past four years of working with Google, the experience that I've had has taught me a lot more than anything ever could. It's made me realise what's important. It's made me reminisce about where my thoughts and opinions were right and wrong. It's made me see what really, what really matters in life. Oops, the last location. We're in Eklin. So, I don't really know what else to say at the moment. And um, I can't believe that I've been here for a month. And it's, it's been good. It's kind of been generous, if I'm honest. But, yeah, I don't know. It's okay. It's just not, nothing special here, you know? So, Without further ado, let's uh, let's go take the last location, eh? Let's go. And most importantly, it's made me grow as a person. To take my own opinions and to see the world with my own eyes and ears outside of the little bubble that is home. And so these videos are here to encourage you to do the same. It's here to hopefully encourage you to go and see the world for yourself as well. Not, Don't just take a little silly holiday somewhere, actually go and really, really see somewhere. See how people are, feel how their lives are. So yeah, I hope this series encourages something to spark inside and hope, I hope that you do see the world. I, I hope that you go and see as many places as possible, even if it's not financially um, thing you can do, it's still important to go out of your comfort zone, out of the area and see something, to see anything. It could be a drive, it could be a walk away, it could be a train journey away, it could be a flight away or a boat away. But don't take the media as absolute. Go and see everything for yourself. I don't know, I hope that these videos kind of spark something inside that makes you go out and see the world. Um, 
I hope that you do see the world. I hope you see things for what they actually are, rather than someone else's perspective. And I'll be going back home very soon. Uh, not directly home, but we're going to London, uh, rather than Manchester, which is where I'm from. And we're going to be doing a couple more weeks worth of this, and then we're going to be wrapping it up in 2017. So, yeah, thanks very much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure, and I hope that you have a very long and fruitful life. My name's Rokoto, and thank you so much for watching. Take care.